if you haven't gotten enough Rocky 40, 40th fix yet, then you can always go the distance with Ryan and Ruben Rubalkin on the Nets, Nets best Rocky podcast guaranteed going the distance. Uh, now, we talked about them before on Rambo Mania and much more on our new show, ACU, uh, an alternate cinematic universe. And when that drops, you'll get the whole miniseries in one shot. But there's some already available, uh, I believe, over at Zero Cool 1389, and I highly urge you to check that out on YouTube as well. So Ryan and Ruben were so cool as to invite me on their show to talk about Rocky 2, which is my favorite Rocky movie. So please go over, uh, go over there and check out episodes 20 and 21. They're in their second season and they're doing a wonderful job. If you've never heard of them before, uh, we're going to play you a little clip from our late night extended discussion uh, that they played over uh, two weeks, which is really great. So check them out on iTunes. Leave them a review. I can't say enough great things about what these guys are bringing to the table. Um, head over to Going the Distance, the Rocky podcast with Ryan and Ruben Rubalkin. And, you know, stay hungry. Hit up the Ruben Show while you're there, too. And we'll see you at Super Fight 2. So, now without further ado, let's roll out that bootleg pre-recorded footage, baby. Keep the eye of the tiger on the prize. So all is well. And the next scene we get to is Apollo. And he's reading this hate mail. And he, and he, that is a powerful scene, too. It is. But that what, is very... This is the first time, though, that what I love about this, you know, this is pre-internet. Pre, uh, you know, obviously Twitter, but what we have here is we have a celebrity in the movie reading his mean tweets. Yes. It's <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Those kids are there. The kids kid. are running through. But one of those kids was the was the uh, the actor, well, the character in Creed that was uh, Ad Adonis Creed comes in. That was okay. his, that was his half brother in that scene running across the running across the living room floor underneath their father Apollo. That's the same oh. character as a kid. Because he lived with his father. Because they talked about they, sh you know, they they grew up a little bit together. The okay. uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, Apollo's kid is in is in Creed. He's the one that talks to Adonis. Says, you know, lets Adonis get his head caved in in the uh, boxing ring there. And says, "Look, you're not good enough. I told you." Wow. So Paul's reading the uh, the hate mail or the mean tweets that he'll be getting today, but it's the hate mail in the 1970s instead of mean tweets. And what do you say? Uh, what were some of the hate mail quotes again? Yeah, the fight was um, the, fight, the fight was fixed. Six. Yeah, it's like your, the fight was fixed, and you're a bum, and uh, yeah, you should. Yeah, how much did you get to carry him for twelve rounds? That's right. And the wife says that famous line. Remember what uh, Claire Huxtable asked him? At least you don't put anything in my drink. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> He's knocking out the old-fashioned way. <laughs> she asked Apollo, why can't you let it go? Yeah, yeah. And his response was, are you serious? And then we, I love how he checks those papers down. Yeah. yeah. It's very dramatic, like, being from there. If you're checking papers, like, from the recliner, it's not as dramatic. I, I think that's so great, too, because I love that shit. Because the first one, Apollo's not really a villain. It's just kind of like... This is a pompous dude. The Apollo Creed of Rocky II was all business, no flash... Um, yeah, no shucking and driving. No, no shucking and driving. <laughs> and uh, he was, I love that scene later when he just says, you know, do whatever you got to do to get him in the ring. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's a crazy thing, too, because didn't see, didn't start to see Rocky unprepared, completely unprepared after that. His head's not in it. And he kind of feels bad because he wants to do the right thing, but he wants to. I kind of look at Spider Rico as the one that kind of did the most damage to Rocky in a way because that head, but he gives him in the first movie. Yep. In the beginning. It didn't really have time to heal. And then Apollo goes to town on that eye, and then he almost goes blind. And then from the second fight, the second fight through to, uh, you know, in the third fight, he gets knocked out and that eye's all messed up again. And in the fourth one with Drago, it kind of like, you know, in a way, Spider Rico was like, the ultimate apology in a way just because like uh, he caused I don't think the injury would have been as bad between the fights within the first two movies there's no doubt about that this that head was it was <laughs> it would always joke that his head was used to block all the punters yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's, his, that's his fighting style <laughs> 
I, even when I was a kid and I watched these movies, I'm like, dude, you know, you use your head to block every punch. Yeah. But that's just, Especially in the fight for Rocky II, because the fight in Rocky II is like, by far my favorite fight out of all of them. That's my favorite one. That fight is insane. What do you that like, what do you like the best about it? Yeah. I like, you know, he's like taking almost every hit. Like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and a lot of those look like they're connecting, like, really heavy shots, like his face all distorting. They've been through a war, those two. Yeah, so at one point, he punches Apollo so hard that his tongue comes out under his mouth curtain and goes back in. Yeah, I love how they film yeah. that. Yeah. Another thing, too, I noticed about the first one when I saw the theater is that in that last, you know, last, uh, the round before the last round when Rocky goes down? Yep. And then Apollo's got his hands up? Yep. That which is a great moment, you know, when Apollo turns around and he can't believe his eyes at Rocky's saying it. But I noticed it, that when Apollo gives him that punch to knock him down, the mouthpiece flies across the ring. Oh, yeah. There I go, like, I never noticed that before. I only noticed that when and Rocky gets up, like, he's going with no mouthpiece. Yeah, he's looking for it, isn't he? Pretty cool. We're gonna, we'll, right. What we'll do is we'll talk one last part about uh, when they're at the uh, OBGYN. Oh, yes. And what is the OGB? I know what it, I know what it is. OB. OB is obstetrics. What's it called? Uh, obstetrician. OB. Come on, GYN. You know GYN stuff. What are you talking about? I I, I don't. Can I call it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> are you sure? Are you, I thought you were going to be funny. I thought maybe it was like the G stood for something, the Y stood for something, and the N stood for something. No. Yeah. So Rocky's out there. He's, he's uh, got the ball in his hand. He's a little nervous. She comes out and nods his head, like, and he's like, yo, we did it. Yeah, classic. And they're walking in the park.